So, so I have Dell Banks. Okay, let's operate it on the, the, the inner product of EI and EJ, for example. Okay, okay, the inner product of EI and EJ. Then, since the metric is compatible <coughs> with the connection, so you can get what? You can get delta uh, x of EI. EJ plus EI and delta X of EJ. So what will be these guys? Okay. So we know that this is same as for example WKI okay. EJ plus E I and maybe okay, you can put a K as well. So I'll have a for example sum here and have a sum as well here. So I can also put if I wish W K J okay and E K I can have this okay and then I can do what I can okay, pull out these scalars W K I of yeah. x is, is, there, is, is there a line e k yeah. e j plus w k j of e i and e k okay so one thing you can do is that okay this would be g k g multiplied with okay so you call w k i so you're gonna get w j i Plus okay, EI EK multiplied with what you're going to get GIK, so you're going to get WIJ. You can also interpret it as because it's an alpha normal frame. I know that you know EK EJ would be zero if K and J are different. Okay? But this will be what do you call one if the K and J are interpreted both ways. So, so now one is one with you. So now so it's like that's a sum actually. That's a sum. Okay, so, you have to be so in other words this would be this would be WKI plus GKJ plus WKJ and IK. I G I K G I K G I K G I K G I K G I K So what did you get finally? You get W J I W J I plus plus W I J and uh, what would be this quantity? This quantity. So EI EJ is delta IJ. So you are operating del X operating on the delta IJ. That's zero. You get what you want actually. So ultimately, you get this result that. Inner of EIEJ will be G IJ. EIJ we can say that, but you can also interpret this as okay. You can also interpret as delta IJ. Connection on G. It's also normal. So so even even there is no difference between because okay because in ortho normal frame EIEJ which is we define G as G what you call Gij is equal to delta Ij actually. Okay. So in other words, what would be the Gij matrix of you know G matrix for orthonormal frames? So it's gonna be G110, G220, G30, 
And G11 is what? It's one. That's one. And that's one. Okay. Okay. So either you write it delta IJ, G IJ is not going to make a difference. What would be the benefit of this uh, proposition? The benefit of this proposition is that this is telling you that if your friend is, you know, orthonormal, then you, you must be very happy. Why? Because your uh, connection form matrix will be drastically simplified actually. So it's going to be symmetric matrix. Okay? With diagonal zero. With zero? Diagonal zero. No. Yes, diagonals is zero actually. Because, because think about it. What, what if, if you have WII here actually? You're going to get WII plus WII equal to zero. So the WII must be zero actually. So it's going to be a matrix with diagonals zero and upper and lower index. Okay, so it's like. Additive inverses. They are just additive inverses. Or maybe that is going to be anti symmetric matrix. Yeah, why should you think about it? Because you are differentiating a very particular kind of a scalar field that is this guy, that the IJ, which is 1 and 0. And you are computing different derivatives actually. Okay, so what would be the derivative of these? Yeah. Based on all these descriptions, try to attempt exercises from Neil. Okay, so I have said you exercises from Neil actually. Okay. 
normalization uh, configuration. So I'm going to have an n by n matrix of this thing. Okay, I have an n by n matrix. And in other words, if I have an orthonormal frame, how many computations I need to make to get this matrix at me? Okay. So I have n by n matrix. Okay. So you can have you have for example you may start from W11 and W maybe one N up to W1 W and N Okay? So you, you don't need to compute these. Okay? Because these all are zero. Okay? So how many you need to compute? So from from this you need to compute how many quantities? N minus one. And from the blue row, how many you need to compute? N minus two. Can you see the pattern? Okay. And uh, you know here you need one actually. So you have to do one plus two plus up to plus n minus two plus n minus one. So what would be this sum? N minus one into N minus one. N into N minus one. Exactly. So it's going to be N into N minus one by two. So you just need to compute this much of what do you call the connection forms. Okay? N minus one, N minus two. Lower be two. No, the lowers are just the exact opposite of that because these are what? So it okay, tells me that. So if you have these, so you can easily just take it. Take it. So in other words, so if, if I have n equal to 3, so how many connection forms I need to compute? So 3 times 2 over, so I just need to compute 3, that's it. Okay. How about Christoffel symbols? Would be a good exercise to think of. Okay, so in orthonormal frame, how many Christoffel symbols? You need to compute, okay? You know, the cardinality, okay? So what would be? Okay, let's not use this symbol. How many are going to be these Okay, okay. Okay. Let's write it explicitly. Things in R3. Okay. Take del x vector. Okay. And operate it on the maybe this vector E1, E2, E3. In other words, by definition, what are you going to get? This has a matrix actually. So that's an operator working on a vector actually. So it's has a matrix. So matrix would be what? I'm going to get, okay, so it's like E1 into E3 multiplied by a matrix. You can use a suitable convention so that the matrix multiplication makes sense. Okay. So it's going to be 0, W, 1, 2, X. Okay. W13 X and we'll have a zero and zero here. So you need to compute this one W two three. You don't need to compute it because this would be minus W12X. Okay? And this would be minus W13 of X. Okay? And Consider the case of a curve vector. 
and consider a very particular frame. Okay? The Frenet frame act. So consider this D prime, N prime, B prime. Does some someone remember the matrix? Multiplied by
n of point to check. So if you have 1 plus 2 plus up to plus n, so the formula says you have n times n plus 1 over 2. So you have n plus 1 over 2. So you can do something. You can think of something similar. Okay. So you have 1 plus 2 plus up to n minus 1. So you're going to get n minus 1 multiplied by n plus 1. Alright, so what are Cartan structural equations? Okay.
the what do you call the standard basis of your tangent space. Okay. Maybe you're gonna get a matrix out of it. So A, J, I. So that's a transformation matrix. Okay. So these are what do you call the standard basis okay, of space R M. Well, E I's are what these are uh, arbitrary frame field length. So I mean if you remember we computed these <coughs> for cylindrical and spherical coordinates. So we said that E R is what Okay, so something partial by partial x plus something partial by partial y, and then e theta is easy and so on and so forth. And similarly for e r e by e theta. So this is something that I would like to keep. And uh, we also computed something similar for one form cycle. So what was theta i? So theta i is one form. So theta i is one form. Okay. Uh, how can I express this one form? So what would be the basis in which you know I must express it? It must be these one forms, the dx j's. Okay. Dx j's. What would be the coefficients? I mean, if you remember, okay, that's one way to do it. Okay, but that we, we also kind of uh, proved a proposition. I mean, if you have notes with you, you can check out that proposition. There was uh, it was okay, if, if you see equation three point four, maybe. Okay. It says that it says that if you want to compute these one forms, okay, what do you need? What do you have? Okay. So I have it. I have it. So if you have this, I mean, if you remember, I hope you don't remember. <laughs> okay. But you can compute what? Okay, so B I, I guess J here. Okay, so, so that's a matrix associated with theta i. We proved a proposition in the beginning of this chapter that these are basically the inverse entries of this actor. Okay, so we proved that this matrix B is basically nothing is just the inverse sector. It's nothing the inverse. Okay? So if this is the case, then I can write this as okay, all this as let me write it this way. So see you have to cap, keep track of the previous things, okay? You have to keep track of the previous things. So it is going to be the I J entry of A inverse matrix. Well, this is the J I entry of you know A matrix. So this is the I J entries of A inverse matrix, which is you know in case of our normal frame, I know that it's just simply the transpose actually. In case of the orthonormal frame. I J R and this would be I J R. But in case of orthonormal frames, but we are keeping things in general. Here. But no, this must be true always. And D X J. So this is an important thing to keep in our head. We have to. So I would like to also remind you from the beginning of beginning of the chapter. Uh, uh, previous chapter that if you want to compute so how did we define this x of f in other words the directional derivative of f okay of f in the direction of x actually okay you can do it but I can also write it in this form so it is okay df in other words compute uh, okay now you can interpret it as an exterior derivative actually. Mm -hmm. okay. 
can, but otherwise you can compute this as a, as, as a differential evaluated at what you call acceptance. This is what we also proved in the beginning of the So keeping in view this, 